everybody, my name is Beth, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for this month. Man, I've played a lot of games and also I spent a lot of money more than usual. April was worst month of my spending habit. The thing about social media is you don't have any intentions of buying a certain game but when you see someone that you know, that you talk to on a daily basis and then you somehow just get influenced by them, whether indirectly or directly, they post a picture about it, you get interested and then you just end up getting the game one of the games that i did not plan on getting and i swore that i wasn't gonna get it was my time in porsche and your girl just placed an order so i don't know when that game will be coming i don't know when this video will be uploaded but when the time comes you'll see my time in porsche we have a physical release out here in australia we're part of pal which means we're part of the european releases not the american ones some odd reason um, there's a physical release for the Europeans and none for the Americans yet but I could easily just hop outside and grab a copy I just don't want to because I finally found a cheaper copy somewhere in the UK and I'm getting it shipped over so I'm really excited for it I just don't know when it's gonna arrive but you'll see it when it arrives another digital copy thanks to Josh um, he was pleased too he donated $16 and I ended up spending like a hundred bucks I wasn't going to buy the $100 version of the game, but he donated $16, so I I have more reason to spend. I was only gonna spend like 50 bucks, but I ended up spending 100. So this is why you don't donate money to me. Just, if you wanna support me, just watch my videos and give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Like, do all of that. Or rewatch my videos because I need watch time. So he donated 16 bucks and I bought Hasine Miku future tones. I freaking love it. I have streamed it once on YouTube. There's no music because of copyrighted issues but sometimes I do it on Twitch because I'm willing to sacrifice my Twitch channel over my YouTube channel. So what I do is I will pop a mic down and I'll face it towards my PS4. It will just record the music and my voice at the same time. Copyright's got nothing on me. I do have a capture card. I have an Elgato over there. My PC can't handle the Elgato, which is annoying. One day when I have enough money, I'll just get a proper PC so I can stream properly and so I can finally use the Elgato that I spent my money on that I haven't even used once, which is so annoying. That's my first digital purchase on the PS4, which is that. If you like Hazume Miku and you like music rhythm games, then it's perfect for you. It does have a difficulty spike because it's not really beginners friendly, so you might want to consider that before buying it. Try out the demo before thinking your money into it because it is, to me, I think it is cheap for the amount of songs you get, but also not everybody likes that sort of game, so try out before you invest in it. And the second game that I recently bought on the PS4 there was a sale going on for Easter and I bought City Skylines. I've been watching a guy called RT Live for the past couple of days and a bunch of City Skyline videos got recommended to me. He is the most sadistic person ever but I enjoy watching it. Sometimes I do enjoy a dark sense of humour and it's also not affecting anybody, it's just affecting the populace within the game. Do you have a copy of it on the PC? I can't find my copy. I got so annoyed because I really wanted to play it. And it so happened to be on sale on the PS4 for like $17. I tried my best to find a physical copy everywhere and I think it's fake so I just bought it digitally and I enjoy playing it. It is the single-handedly the most frustrating game because if you want people to survive and grow your population, I'm usually really good at management games, but this is just one of them <laughs> that I'm not really good at. I'm currently stuck at 25,000 people for my current population and it's not growing. It's not declining, it's just not growing. I don't know, I, I just started playing it. I am having fun. I like management games, I like tycoon kind of game. Take that as you will. Does anybody remember what this is? My light ran out of battery. It's good to know it only lasts like 20 minutes, so I guess the lighting is gonna be terrible from here onwards. Oh, this is really heavy. It has like a bunch of like cards in there. But anyway, do you guys remember what this is? We don't have much 3DS games stocked in our local EP game store anymore or any game store for that matter. It's just like a tiny section. Remember that PS Vita? It used to be like grand and then slowly like shrunk over time. It's now this. All my favorite like handheld consoles are dying in their 2019 era and it's kind of sad. And <laughs> freaking people are coming home when I'm filming! 
Okay, great. Everyone's in home. My neighbor's being noisy. Everything's just going a mess. I started filming this like way earlier than usual and I just kept stuttering, struggling to film for some reason. Sometimes I'm just like not in my mindset to film. Sometimes I can just sit here and do it in one take. Like, let, let's be real, that rarely happened. Where was I before I got disrupted? So I've been playing these two 3DS games. I'm in a Hatsune Miku kick. I don't know if I mentioned this last month, but I'm continuing. And not only am I like in a phase of just playing like Hatsune Miku, I really wish the second copy of this would drop in the West, but it's never gonna happen. At least this one came out in the West. I really like Snowman, so that's why I keep coming back to this because I don't have a colorful tone for Hatsune Miku and I really want it. I didn't know Snowman was part of Colorful Tone. Don't want to spend more money. But I'm tempted to just get the season pass at this point. Leave my donation box alone. I will get it when it goes on sale. music -y kind of game is Final Fantasy Furium Curtain Call. I think I'll just jump ahead a little bit and move on to the next session and really talk about it. The reason why I hopped onto this one is because I recently got this. There's a lot of Final Fantasy that I really do enjoy. This game is so frustrating. Don't let this cute exterior lie to you because I thought it was easy. Then I got to chapter 2 onwards and I've been stuck there for the last couple of days. And you have no idea how mad I can get while playing this stupid game. Like maybe I'm just terrible at it but I think I have basic knowledge to like surpass certain levels. I do play video games. I'm bad at them, but I can't be this bad. I've played some really frustrating dungeon crawlers before, like Etrian Mystery Dungeon, and I got really annoyed. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is relatively easy. Etrian is like, what the hell is this? Persona Q Labyrinth, also what the hell is this? I'm not getting the second game, I refuse. I can't even finish the first game, because it's so hard. Whenever I die in this game, I go and play this to soothe myself, because sometimes after a while you just play this game, you just get so angry at it. I realize that a lot of people don't have a physical, you have to import it from Asia, because apparently there's no Western releases out for this one, at least in physical form. Will I recommend this game? Yes and no. It does get really frustrating. Don't let the beginning couple of chapters fool you. I haven't grind enough to level up, so in like jobs to progress through the dungeons and I'm struggling because of that but I feel like I have I have a couple of phoenix down a bunch of potions okay let, let's talk about the items in the game it's becoming like Rebecca rants for 20 minutes about this game I'm playing on normal mode and I'm struggling so I can't imagine if you play on hard mode you're not going absolutely insane Maybe, again, it's my fault, but I feel like this is a not beginner's friendly kind of game, even though it looks so cute and everything. Progress to the middle chapters 2 and onwards and tell me that this game is not hard. Maybe it's just me. In my previous video, I was talking about how easy it is. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. I ate those words the moment I posted it up and continued playing the game. I haven't progressed much in the game. Like, how much time did I actually spend playing this game? I'm actually quite curious because I died at least 20 times last night playing it. And we haven't even got to the PS4 and the PS Vita section of this game. And it's already been like 10 minutes me ranting about <laughs> Final Fantasy Mystery Dungeon. You know, I have those like wind chime kind of alarms every single time a person passes by. It makes a beeping chime noise and people have been walking by quite frequently so every five seconds it's been beeping and I've been so irritated throughout the whole entire <laughs> filming process of today's video. I'm so sorry but you have no idea how many times I've been <laughs> interrupted. So I first played it six days ago, it's not showing how many hours I've spent on it yet. It does show that I spent 140 hours on Varm together and 245 hours in Stardew Valley. The Switch versions. Can you imagine all my consoles combined? How many hours I actually spent on Stardew Valley? You don't even want to know. Actually, I don't even want to know. I think I've spent at this point over 50 hours on Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. If you're a die-hard Final Fantasy fan, it's not a casual experience. Don't let the title fool you. It's cute. I like it. But I'm at a point when I'm really mad at it. Guess I'll quickly run through my PS video games because we'll be here for a, I don't want this to be a 25 minute video. Even though by the time I chop out all the arms and R's, it will probably be like less than 10. 
I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last month. I'm not too sure, but it's same old, same old. It's just the three has the name me through the games I have, which is Project Diva F, courtesy of Sean. Project Diva F second, one of my favorites. Rest in peace, though, for one of the music producers. And Project Diva X. And I played a little bit of DJ Max Technica. There's a lot of like old school K pop songs in here, like Kara. That disbanded, they were one of my favorites. It feels so sad when I listen to it, but it's nice to have nostalgia in it. I don't really know much about this franchise aside from the fact that it's a music game. So I've been on like a music game kick, minus this frustrating whatever this is. And last but not least, um, I played a lot of this on the PS4. Are we surprised at this point? I also stream it sometimes, and the moment the stream ends, I don't stop, I continue, and I'm a proud owner of like four copies of Stardew Valley. And that's my only physical copy I have of it. We play like farm together, I finished the Easter event, and it took me like two days. There was a massive glitch that you couldn't earn anything for like a while. I don't know how long that issue like lasted throughout the whole game, but you know, as much as I enjoy playing farm together, there's so many freaking issues. There's like frame rate issues. Devs are really nice. They respond relatively quickly on Discord and on Twitter. Every week there seems to be like a problem in farm together. Every single day that I play it, something is bound to happen. As soon as I have like 140 hours on the game. I don't know, I haven't got it too long ago and I don't consistently play it every single day. I used to because I was really addicted to it at one point and I finished building all the houses and I don't really have a reason to go back unless there's an event going on. I do like it. I do play it quite passively these days, not like as active as I used to be since I finished the event. I've just been on like a music kick. I've always been on a music kick. Who am I? Who am I kidding? This is actually more out of the norm for me. I haven't finished a dungeon crawler kind of game in forever. I wanted to play the Etrian series. I have them. Don't want to be mad. I just want to play video games to get happy. Why buy something that makes you mad? I think it's personally it's my fault that this is not a good experience. I wasn't going to talk about it but you know this thing here? I'm currently stuck here and it's like on the back of a blur. That's good to know. That's freaking good to know. I don't know if this considers as spoilers, but in one of the dungeons, there's maybe like 30 floors. Every 10th floor, there's a boss for this particular dungeon. It took me a couple of tries to beat the 10th level boss, the 20th level boss, and I'm currently up to the 30th level boss of the the dungeon and that's where I'm stuck at. But the good thing is, once you beat the main bosses, of the dungeon you don't have to do it again in order to get to the top if that was the case holy moly i'll never finish the game the equipment you hold in the game of your character it can be cursed which means it has a negative effect on your character and it turns into negative stats once it's cursed monsters can also make your items rusted which means you can't use it you can't even discard it you can't even remove it you have to get certain items to bless that item in order to remove it and every single time you die you don't lose a small amount or half of the amount or most of the amount of money that you have or guild in this point not only do you lose all your money when you die you lose all of your items when you die so all your potions that you hoarded throughout the <laughs> throughout the dungeon it's all lost every single time and you cannot return to the spot that you died from. you can only return it every temple that you unlock and if you forget to save like I did once after beating a boss, you have to try it all over again. I think my next strategy is over leveling and just keep dying at this point. I don't know, what's your strategy of playing like Chocobo Mystery Dungeon? Because I'm 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 at the point of like losing myself and I don't I don't know what to do. But anyway, I think this video has been long enough. It's been like 22 minutes, so I really need to stop now. So please leave a comment down below telling me what kind of games did you play this month or what games are you planning to buy in the near future? Any new releases you'd like to let me know because at this point, that's very real. I'm just going to keep spending even though I say I'm not going to. Nothing's going to stop me. I can't stop me. Any upcoming releases you're excited for? I'm excited for Fire Emblem. It's getting closer. It actually comes out three days before my birthday, so I'm really excited for it. I've already pre-ordered it, and that's the only game that's really coming out 
during my birthday month and I find it a perfect excuse. I would have picked it up regardless if it was my birthday or not. I was going to buy Yoshi. If I finish this game, I will buy Yoshi. It's never gonna happen. That's my only motivator because I kind of like to finish one Switch game at a time and then I can make the next purchase. But when it comes to PS4 things, I can't wait. I just buy them because they're really cheap these days. Or PS videos because they're getting extinct. And I don't think I, I'm going to be able to film <laughs> a PS video collection video today. I'm getting distracted so easily. Um, I've been disturbed like six, seven times while filming this and it's taking longer than usual, like maybe twice the amount of time than it usually takes for me to film something like this. Please let me know what you've been playing, what you plan to play in the near future, what you're planning to buy. Tell me about your latest pickup. I know this sounds shady, but I don't think most people, even my loyal friends and subscribers, would have made it to this point. But for those people that comment within the first minute or two that I post a 20 minute video and you said like, great job, I enjoy this video, can you at least wait the full 20 minutes before posting it? Because how are you supposed to watch the whole thing within the first two minutes that I posted? Like sometimes I'm live to read the comments when I post the video and I'm like, I don't want to shade certain people because I've done it in the past and it's gone really ugly. <laughs> if you don't want to watch it, just don't watch it. I understand. I wouldn't want to watch it. When I'm editing these videos, I'm like, like I get annoyed with myself. I'm like, can you just like get to the point? What are you? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Like I said, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit the bell button for notifications and, and check out my other videos if you want to where I talk about my tripod and I talk about my new mic. So painful for my wallet. So please check them out. But anyway. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!